Now, I never had good luck with teachers in grade school. I can safely say this because none of my teachers from before I was in 8th grade should remember me. I remember getting once worksheets covering simple addition and subtraction where the numbers are in clouds and the answers are in a lightning bolt. The teacher at the time explained to us that the way lightning was made is two clouds bump into each other and lightning occurs. Now that I've been fully educated, I can tell you that was a blatant lie. Somewhere out there is a school teaching children incorrectly simply to justify some random artwork on a worksheet. This wasn't the only problem I had, however. When getting into subtraction, I wondered what would happen if you subtracted a larger number from a smaller one. The teacher insisted that there was nothing below zero and that couldn't happen. Of course, after dealing with banks and bills myself, I can tell that wasn't true. The last thing I had issues with, though, was showing your work. We live in an age where calculators are readily available at a moment's notice. Most of you probably have one on your cell phone. Therefore, in order to ensure that you are learning your math and not just using a calculator, the teacher would ask us to show our work. So take the case of 20 minus 15. I know the answer off the top of my head, but I need to show my work. So first you have to simplify the problem. Both 20 and 15 can be divided by 5. So you end up with the new problem of 4 minus 3 times 5. Next, you solve for 4 minus 3, which is 1. Then multiply 5 in order to get 5, which is the answer. Of course, the teacher is not impressed and marks my answer wrong. So, seeing as how grades are so important to a typical child, I had to ask her. 20 minus 15 is 4 minus 3 times 5, which is 1 times 5 is 5. So, why is it wrong? The teacher looked at me and she said, You have to solve the problem correctly. You put the 20 on top and 15 below. You look at the 5 and 0 lined up. 5 can't be subtracted from 0, so you borrow 1 from the 2 to make 10. Then you subtract 5 from 10 for 5. Then in the 10's place, subtract 1 from 1 for 0. You get 5. I also get 5, I say. So why isn't my answer right? Her answer then was, because in math, you have to use the simplest method to reduce errors. Which I finally get to ask, so why can't I just use a calculator?